called earthing, which refers to the recent uncovering of the fact that major health benefits result from contact with the Earth's energy field by walking barefoot. Wearing conductive footwear, such as leather, also works. But because I was desperate, I went for the whole treatment from head to toe, regardless of the temperature. After about 20 minutes of lying naked on the bare earth and below freezing temperatures, a wave of calm had come over me, and I felt warm and tingly. The next morning, something was missing. It was the pain in my back, and both of my hands were no longer numb. This was crazy. How could this have occurred? Was it my imagination? Did I simply tell myself the pain would go away if I touched the earth, and by doing so it would? I decided to try a different method. Of course, I didn't want to stay connected to the earth by lying outside in the cold. Since earthing or grounding is all about soaking up the earth's free electrons, all I needed to do was stick a grounding rod into the earth and bring the energy right into the cabin. And while I was at it, why not start an experiment to see if this magic works on other living things? We started to do more research and met earthing advocates, including Clint Ober himself. I'll say is laying on the earth, just laying down on the earth. You don't have to be naked. You're touching the earth. You know, if you can take your shoes off, that's great. It's like no amount of Advil or Motrin or Aleve can do the anti-inflammatory power that the earth can. But then there was Rocky himself, a man who lives a hard life and sort of is homeless, who sleeps in his truck each night until I invited him to stay with me in the cabin. There was no way I would ever get a good night's sleep with that type of situation happening on the couch, four feet away from my bed. The next night, Mr. Seward agreed to allow me to hook him up to the earth in an experiment. He had nothing to lose, really, since he'd never gotten a true night's sleep anyway, due to waking up choking and with a headache and more. You guessed it, he never snored again. I was now literally connected to the earth almost 24 seven. The remarkable way I was being affected made me ponder that most people in modern societies are almost never in direct contact with the earth's surface. No wonder so many people walk around fat, sick, and nearly dead. Sometimes nothing prepares us for the devastating stress and emotional upheavals that can lay claim to your life. The first thing grounding does is calm the nervous system. It soothes the left side of the brain and synchronizes the right and left brain. Where I found pain relief was to do what the ancients did immerse myself unclothed into the earth. It's like throwing a bucket of water on a fire as opposed to using just a cup. More exposed skin allows the earth electrons to flow into one with much more volume and intensity. I pointed out clinical case studies online with the geographic team of the seemingly miraculous disappearance of chronic inflammation in patients verified by thermography, which distinctly depicts reduction in inflammation through color temperatures. These stones, put here thousands of years ago along with their inscriptions, have weathered the test of time. What were these ancient secrets? I was about to find out. Experiments are conducted inside a special room called the Faraday cage. It is in this environment where studies take place with instruments such as the cymoscope, which uses a few drops of water to manifest frequencies. It's an audio oscillator, and we're going to set it to the Schumann cavity resonance of 7.83 hertz. The frequency of the Earth. It has never been seen before like this. This heartbeat occurs in the spherical cavity between the surface of the Earth and the ionosphere. Whoa. 
It's almost as if the universe is trying to tell us something, perhaps synchronicity. The brains of all creatures, including humans, are tuned to this frequency and this pattern, simply with water and light. The frequency of the Earth made visible for the first time ever, yet the same design carved on rocks thousands of years earlier. Electrostatics is a branch of physics, and it teaches us that when two conductive objects make contact, if they have different electrical potential, they equalize virtually instantaneously. You may know that penicillin was a revolution in medicine. This is a revolution in healthcare that I think transcends penicillin. What if I could document the rate at which red blood cells travel after a subject is grounded for a mere two hours? It's a scientific visual. It's a fact that blood thins significantly when one is grounded. Thus, earthing becomes a major factor in battling heart disease. As I flip the switch for the blood to be influenced by a controlled DC electric field, we could now see the difference of blood velocity before and after two hours of earthing. As you can see under controlled conditions of the DC current, the blood cell velocity is unequivocal before and after earthing for two hours. So I'll, I'll show you, this is a, the sunflower experiment that we're doing with Gary Schwartz. Is this a wire that's connecting them? Yeah, it's a wire and then there's a mesh and it becomes really distinct over time. This poor little sunflower that's not connected starts to wilt, wither and wilt mm -hmm. and the one that's connected to the earth is still vibrant and strong. It seems to me when I look at this that the earth itself has this energy to give every living creature. Well, it's certainly would suggest that, certainly would suggest that. Yeah.